Hi, this is DH Dunn, and welcome back to Can I Lope 10 Days Without Meters? And uh, it is the exact same day as the previous part for me. I took a break, had a little lunch, I'm back. So I'm not going to post a new picture of the screen because it's the same thing as it was before. But um, let's get back into it. We were about to explore the dam. For once, it's not hard for me to remember what we were doing. I think this is the wrong one. I think this is no meters, not no meters lope. Um, yes. I gotta get rid of no meters. That's, no meters is two hours. No meters lope, that's where we are. Okay. Start with this briefcase. What do you got? Nothing, thank you. Torches. We're gonna need... Okay, we have six. We can't sleep here. So we gotta think about that. This chair be more in the way? Oh my god. Okay. I think we probably hit the safe pretty early. I really got to let these torches go all the way, almost all the way to the end. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be doing them too quickly. How much water do we have? A lot. I might let the toilet water here go for now. Kind of more interested in clothes and tools. Very much wanting tools. I don't find any tools soon. I'm going to have to go make them. We already have stuff curing, but not the good stuff. Not the, uh, not the saplings. I think there's a hammer that we left at Trapper's. So I have to remember that, that there's a hammer at Trapper's, right? This torch is at 7%. Um, probably want to do a new one for the safe. disoriented. Here we go. Oh, it's somewhere around 10 or 11. It was so early I wasn't ready. A okay, 9. 36, 37, something like that. 9. Six. There we go. A book. <sighs> what was I expecting? Anything. <laughs> Where are my Mackinaws that I used to get? What happened? I always think the dam is going to be a good source of tools. I'm not sure that it is. But if we decide to go forge in the muskeg, we'll just pick up the hammer on the way. Because, you know, there's no way I'll forget that it's there. You're hungry, Astrid? We have things. Eat these things. Eat this too. Surrounded by snow. And you're Nothing thirsty. There you go. Is that better? Uh. 
Go down to the fire barrel. That way we can make some more torches. Damn it. I had a good streak going. Do we have any fuel? Not tremendously. Got sticks. up dude I don't have a bedroll in your pocket do you he does not can't even work out what day this will be uh, going live. I, <laughs> I'm cramming a lot of recording in ahead of the storm, just in case. We have a second storm coming after the first one, too. Give me one more. Yes. I don't know anything productive I wanted to Leave that running. It feels like somewhere I should be able to get tools from, but now I'm starting to think that the dam doesn't usually have them. Oh, these torches are terrible. And you... Do not... Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. That is... Starting to get old. What is our match count down to? 12, 4, uh, 16. Not terrible, but I can't afford to keep throwing matches away like that. I guess we go check the dead guy card. Nothing there. Dead guy. Nothing. Microwave. Nothing. I need to find food. Hey, there we go. That's there's a problem solved right there. Astrid is of course hungry. I didn't think I was going to go this far in. Alright, let's head back. What was that? Nothing. There's a couple of spots I haven't checked. We got one.
starting to think we say the hell of it. We hit the musk egg and forge. Hatchet or a knife. I'd rather get a hatchet. Um. Why did I come out here? That fire almost out, probably. I mean, the matches by themselves probably made this little trip worth it. Oh, and don't forget the book that was in that safe. Huge. Can I... Never tried this. Hey, you can jump. You can jump across that. Nice. What do you got left? Fire? Nothing. Okay, thank you. We got enough to get back. I don't know if it's day or night. Be honest. I'm trying to sit better, have better posture. It's not working that well. <laughs> Now we kind of looked here already. Oh. Boy. Would have been terrible if I had missed that. Uh, I think there's a blizzard going on out there. It sounds that way. At least grab this toilet. Alright. Thanks for not much, damn. I know I didn't completely search you. Okay, just windy. <sighs> Definitely still daylight out. There's a carcass we could go uh, work on. If we can keep uh, Goopy off our back. We need enough fuel though. We could head over to Ravine and do a carcass over there much more safely and come back here to sleep. It's clear that I've decided that's what I'm doing. That's it, huh? Alright, fine. The hell with it, man. Anything right about now. Alright, Astrid, I actually will let you eat something because I think your other problems you don't seem to be complaining about right now. You're not talking about being cold. You're not shivering. You haven't yawned. Going down would be interesting. There's often some pretty decent stuff down there. I have found stims and flare guns down there several times. I think there's a bed down there too. Could be a bit risky, but... Kind of into it. See what we get over here. We'll see if there's a rope. Really, Astrid? I literally just fed you. A little KC over there. Not gonna hurt.
Some scrap for foraging, also good. A little bit more. Rope? Yep. Chips? Just eat them. Well, it's like it's asking me to go down. I think there's a uh, bed down there. <laughs> Probably a lot of you know. Certain things stay in my head and certain things don't. carcass down there right by that cave though yeah I think this is the plan yeah. let's just do it let's do it before I lose my nerve to do it dive in with both feet I guess if there's no bed I'm headed to bleak Sleepy. Oh, I might be overburdened. Might not let me go down the rope. Hadn't thought of that. Now you're cold, huh? Well, you're gonna put the rope on anyway. We'll decide from there. Yup, we can do it. Let's go. I'm worried if I stop, I won't be able to get back on the rope again. This is a much longer rope climb than I remembered. <laughs> oh no. You got this, Astrid. There we go. I think that's the first time I've ever been nervous going down a rope. Okay, I'm tired. Yeah, I imagine. I had high hopes for this. Wait, what's that? There we go. Got the stem. Probably worth it by itself. More coal. Mm -hmm. Can she still sprint? All right, she's not out of stamina. Hey, bunnies. I can't do anything with you. 
badly. You, however, are frozen. So the first thing I have to do is hope I can get a fire going that will stay lit. No torches. Very well. Perfect. We're all in on this fire. See there's any firewood in here. Is there a bed in here? Am I wrong? Oh no. Oh thank god. And a hammer. It's not the tool I wanted, but I'll take it. Now I don't have to go back to trappers. God, there was a bed. <laughs> Alright, I don't need the hammer right now. Let's drop that. Uh, drop the hammer. Not ready yet, huh? Definitely take an herbal for the night. How about the pork and beans? Is that ready? Yes. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? Yes. All in on this fire. Fire goes out and barely screwed. I guess grab cattail. No, you heard me. No. You stupid, stupid game, you heard me. Oh my god. You stink. Well, uh, let's read about surviving the outdoors. See if Astra complains about being cold. How much do we need to um, make the hatchet? Hatchet is... Okay, we have everything we need except two more scrap, which I think we'll find on the way. Yes, read about fire for another hour. She's cold now. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're not gonna be warm in this bed. We do have one coal left and five sticks. <laughs> oh no. One coal, five sticks. Oh boy. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the coal in, we're gonna put the sticks in, we're gonna put the gun book in, gun book in. Yeah, this is a big gamble, and it may have bit me. Just looking for more sticks.
Nada. Okay. All for this carcass. When there was another one I could have got. Alright, um, I guess I'm gonna sleep an hour at a time. Try to regain some condition. And let's harvest it. We don't have any torches to harvest. We have no torches to Yeah, okay, so you're in the bed. Sleep an hour at a time, hope the storm goes away. Oh, jeez. Storm didn't go away. Hmm. Storm is gone. Fire is very not looking great, but keep the stay on target. The more stamina I get back, the better. Very briefly run out and see if new sticks have showed up. Oh yeah, I forgot to have you drink, sorry. Nothing immediately is jumping out. Okay, back to bed. Stay with me, fire. Stay with me, fire. Oh, it's very dark. Hour at a time. Man, there's a million crows outside right now. Outside my house. They're making a ton of noise. Keep going. I'm not I'm not looking at the the temp. She doesn't cl complain about being cold, I'm sending her back to bed. I probably should have. Let's quickly drink and eat. Giving her an opportunity to complain if she needs to. Doesn't seem like she is complaining. Back to bed. You doing, Astrid? All quiet. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the temp. I'm trying to click it too fast for my brain to pay attention to it. We deliver, we die. When it won't let me sleep anymore, then we'll know. Seems like daylight, possibly. It's daylight. Can't sleep anymore. I have a feeling she definitely... Not cold. I hate being yep, cold. she's cold. She's cold. Does it really do? All right. All right, ask. <laughs> what a disaster! Let's get out of here. Scooby! You stupid deer! You ruined everything. I could eat a horse. And you're hungry. And there's a rabbit. Stupid rabbit. Making fun of me. 
Oh boy. Hopefully, we can get up the rope. So cold. Think. That's not good. That's not good. I think she's fully cold. One thing at a time. I got you into this mess, Astrid. I will try to get you out. This wasn't your plan. This was my plan. You can always use more rose hips. Thought I saw a stick, too. Nope, okay. There was a stick, but whatever, let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm stopping at the ledge. Here, let's stay here for... What's the shortest thing we can do? This. Five minutes. Damn it. I should realize that was sticks. Oh well. I don't know how long it takes to get your uh, stamina, your uh, sprint back. Looks like we're gonna make it. Okay. Well, that was ill-advised. <laughs> I think that was a disaster. Many people probably saw it coming. I have no idea what my condition is. It's really, really messing with me. Is it 50%? Is it 25%? Is it 75%? Are we fine? Did we only get cold for a little bit? How much damage did we take? Did we not take any? Astrid doesn't say much about her condition specifically. In fact, I'm not sure she says anything. Another frozen carcass tempting me. More saplings I can't take down. <sighs> hmm. Eat this dog food. I gotta steep. I, bleh, I gotta stop messing with these carcasses and trying to thaw them. If we had a hacksaw or a hatchet, we could just take them, right? Because you can get you can get frozen carcasses with a hatchet, right? So, operating under the assumption I'm warm in the back of the cave, maybe we warm up by making some birch bark. I never know when I have hypothermia uh, risk. 
either. Okay, the wind is calmer. But I don't have a ton of fuel. No. For all we know, this is not much anyway. I really just want to get going. We got a job to do. Let's go do it. Let's go make a hatchet. I think that is... Is the right move. If you can't stay, go. The longer you stay where you don't need to be, you're just burning resources. We are in the resource acquisition business. I'm not even gonna stop to pick up cattails. We're going to the muskeg. There's gonna be a ton of cattails there. We have more than enough to get us there. Enough with the damn sticks. Let's just go. Go straight down the tracks. I'm not gonna go to the side and, you know, I thought of, oh, and there's cattails down there. No, oh, these are all distractions. Focus, focus. We got a course correct here. Now we don't have any torches. Oh, that is a problem. I didn't think about that. All right. Um. I have a plan to solve two problems at once. And it depends on whether Scoopy is in my way. I don't see that little jerk. bank we can't pick up. I know I made a big speech about not doing any more carcasses, but if we gotta do a fire anyway. We don't have a torch. I picked up a cedar. Oh, that, that was what we started the fire with. Okay, definitely get a few torches out of this so that we don't have zero. Yeah, that's good. What is our water situation? that. Let's not assume that we're warm. We may not be. She's not complaining about being cold at the moment. We, got, uh, we have one can still. Damn it. Hit the can. In case we've lost condition. Try to get a little bit of it back. Or too far. I'm sure I'm in the warmth radius now, though. Yes. That just takes forever. Stupid crows. <laughs> um, 
Prepare more rose hips. Water's done. Nope, water's not done. There we go. I don't dare take the guts. Maybe if this was by the train car, I think you probably can cure the guts in the train car, but this is not that. that hey something <laughs> something leveled up oh it's cooking too we got cooking too because we can make mana now nice. take that drink that I'm taking the rest of this fire as torches and getting out of here no 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 not a rock Orch. That's probably it. Let's go. Barring the unforeseen, next stop is Muskeg. I like that when your cooking skill goes up, or when a skill goes up, you hear the sound, but you don't know what skill went up. You gotta figure it out. I will check the uh, yellow thing here on the way. I haven't been there. I haven't been to the uh, boxcars here either. This fog is probably allowing us to be warmer than average, so that's good. I don't hear her complaining about being cold. She's not shivering. Another way to check. Now, is this. Hands not shaking. I guess you might as well. Hey, a pry bar. This stuff will come in handy. I am happy about that. Pick up the damn book. Thank you. Goodbye. It depending on the map, it depends on whether I'm comfortable moving around in fog or not. Anything with a train track on it is fine. Coastal is a map I don't like to, like, move around in the fog, especially on the ice. I get so lost on the ice. I think this is the last recording I'm going to do today. This will be the third thing I've recorded today. Trying to build up that buffer. I might... I, I've been thinking that I need to do some kind of like state of the channel. State of the done. Cover, cover YouTube, Twitch, uh, Patreon, and uh, books. Just talk about what's coming up in 2024. So I've been thinking about doing that. I just 
I don't know that I want to do it in like this really um, rehearsed way. I don't know. I gotta think about it. Seriously? Come on, dude. What? Everybody wants a turn? Anything over here worth scaring you off so that I can go pick it up? Otherwise, I'm just gonna go in here. Zippo. Alright. Just keep an eye on the torch, keep an eye on the tracks. Keep us on course. I have started doing all of these, even though I'm loping 10 days, trying to play as if I wasn't loping 10 days, because I might continue any of them. You know, Burglar is up to day 20 now, which is fantastic. Um, I would love to continue this, assuming I make it to 10 days. Ah! Ah! Ah, it's devastating. It's devastating. Chaining torches is hard. Alright, there's uh, Camp HQ. You always know from the uh, power cord that goes off there to the side. That heads to the building, so... You can always find Camp HQ on the tracks that way. Almost the first, like, landmark I learned. Because this is definitely the map I learned the game on. This mystery light. A lot of people learn the game on Mountain Town, or Milton, because that's where story mode starts you. But I didn't like story mode when I played it the first time. I still kind of don't. I like Will and Astrid, and I like their story. But there's a lot about story mode that just doesn't work for me. Uh, and I don't find the gameplay as fun as regular survival gameplay. I think it works kind of weird. The wolves in, in Episode 1 work weird versus um, how they work here. I don't know. I haven't played it in a long time. I totally get that people love it, and it's super okay that people love it. I just... I'm kind of meh on story. I'll play episode 5 when it comes out. I still haven't finished episode 4. I got to the, like, pipe puzzle, and I just... I just didn't care. I'm sorry. I don't... I You know, there are things that people like, things that people don't like, and I, that's the thing that's interesting about story mode to me. Even though episode 4 was probably the most interesting of the stories. Um... Is that, you know, the gameplay in story mode is not the same. You're not focused on the same things. It's much more kind of objective based and sometimes it's puzzle based and it's just for a different audience than me. That's okay. Welcome to Forlorn Muskeg. Population, me. And some really glitchy bears. Wolves. Deer. Ptarmigan. Maybe a moose. My plan is to get to the boxcars and uh, pack it in there. I probably will have to uh, pass time for an hour to get the save. And tomorrow, our focus will be making a hatchet. We'll make a knife too if we can find enough scrap to do both. Or if maybe there's a hacksaw, you know, at the forge. Maybe. 
It could happen. This is, I believe, where we spawned, but I did not go to the forge. I went straight to Mystery Lake. I think I stopped at, um... I think I stopped at the boxcar. Astrid's a little hungry. You can hear her stomach growling. This fog has been very helpful. I'm listening. Thought I heard the bear moving. had the bear charge at me out of the fog. It's <laughs> freaking awesome and terrifying at the same time. <sighs> Don't hear a wolf answering nearby. That's good. Should be almost there. I would drink almost anything about now. Really? How about water? So that's what I got. All right. It looks like. Can you please pick that up? Thank you. Looks like we made it. Yes, I have been here. Oh, we have no... Well, we have the stupid book. That's enough. I can put the coal in. Oh my god, you failed. Ugh. Come on, little fire. Come on. It asks me again. I mean, I said before I, I was okay with burning it. Come on, little fire. Yes. Come on, little fire. Okay. Perfect. I thought I had a coal. Apparently I don't. Well, it's, there might be a coal in there. There might be a coal around the train. There usually is. Just want to pass time. That's cloth. That's not a coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're close by. I hear you. No. Oh. I swear that coal wasn't there two seconds ago. I guess I didn't look that way. Yeah, I didn't. All right, come on, come on, come on. There. Now I can pass time for an hour. Might as well make some water. Time, one hour. Okay, there's our save. And Astra is complaining about being tired. Let's just see uh, what day we are on. We are on day four. So uh, we're on our way to forge and uh, we're gonna make at least the hatchet, if not the hatchet and the knife. And I do think that's gonna help us uh, get going better. And uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with more Long Dark. Until then, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.